video will show you how to engrave multiple signs with text using logos within our software type edit. In our symbol library, there are various signs you can use. Let's choose the arrow, for example, align it, and now we're going to add some text. Define the position of this text. And there you go. We have created a single sign with text. Now let's imagine you have many signs you want to create with text. We will show you how to do this quickly. For the logo, we're going to use our built-in library, which is numerous symbols we can use for engraving. Well, for the text, we've created an Excel file for this example. This text now needs to be saved in our project folder. And in the correct format. Do not save it as an XLS or XPS, but as a text file. Now, let's have a look at the logo file we've just created. Let's open it up. Now, as you can see, our list is separated by a semicolon. And they're all on individual lines. We're now ready to use one of our new functions in type edit version 13 called variable text. Begin by creating a bounding box for the logo, which you want to import. Change the size of this box. and the position. Okay, now the next step is to create the second variable, which is our text. We are going to call this name. Once again, adjust the position. Here the X position will be zero. Also adjust the height. The first part of the job is complete. The next step is to input the data we want to engrave, and to do this we need to select the function, enter variables. There are two columns to fill in. One is for the logos, one is for the names. For the logos, we're going to select and import the symbols we want to engrave, which is in our library. Select them all. And they've been loaded. Now for the name column, we're going to add our text file we created. So import that in there. And as you can see, the text remains separated by the column, by the sem semi-column. And our text file is now ready to be considered a variable. So everything's loaded as well. Now, let's just say, for example, you want to duplicate more than one of the logos. All you need to do is change the number by the logo column. So everything is listed as one here. But now we're going to show you how to do more. So let's say, for example, we require more than one down arrow. Type in three, for example. Mm -hmm. 
we'll add a few more. So we're gonna say we want five left. Three men. Three women. And five rights. Okay, so we're done. Now the next step is to use, is to use the function multi-copy. Before validating, we need to define a few things. Firstly, select the function limit to variables data. We only need one layer for each variable and the ordering can remain optimized, not optimized. Lastly, we need no cutting lines and validate. After validation, the multi-copy is created and each layer has a sign and a text incorporated. Now, if you remember, we wanted a few of the signs to be created more than once. So the down arrow key, for example, is layer eight, nine, and 10. And the same, of course, goes for the other signs we have duplicated. After checking this, we're gonna go to the CAM module to begin the next step, engraving. Now, a window pops up and says, no selection. Do you want to run the computation on all layers? Yes, we do. And at this point, the file should be saved as a VND. We must select our tool, so let's say 20 degree conical. Depth should be one mil. It is a 3D engraving. Keep, skip, external frame ticked and validate. When this is complete, you will be able to see that each of the engraving has been computed on each layer. If you want, you can double click on the engraving to see each individual result. Now, once you are done checking, we can continue further. You can now go to machining, choose to collate all, and here it is possible to create one single file. which will combine all the engravings we have just created. And that is how you create variable logos and signs using TypeEdit software.